This is the newly released Endless OS 5. Endless OS is a Debian based Linux distro that comes packed with special features and content that make it a game changer in the educational space. Endless OS enables anyone located anywhere to access information and resources without relying on an internet connection. Whether you are a student or an educator, Endless OS 5 provides an exciting way to interact with technology and access knowledge without internet. Yes, Endless OS can run with limited connectivity or even completely offline. That makes it a great operating system for developing countries where internet may be spotty or completely absent. But that's not all. I took Endless OS 5 for a spin and it was a nostalgic experience for me. And I really felt the need for something like Endless to be deployed out there where a kid might not have access to education or information. I strongly believe that education is a fundamental right and it has the power to change lives. So I was really happy to see Endless OS harnessing the amazing power of technology, open source software and Linux to make a difference. Endless OS is a great experience. Once you use it, it is something that you will definitely recommend to others and it will matter a lot to them. So let's jump right in. So what exactly is this Endless OS again, you might ask? Endless OS is a special operating system created to facilitate and encourage learning and education for kids, teenagers and even grown-ups. Endless is an initiative that aims to make education and knowledge accessible to people living in areas without easy and affordable access to knowledge. Some places in Africa and Asia lack the educational and technological infrastructure which can lead to many children growing up without access to knowledge. It's estimated that 3.7 billion, almost half the world's population doesn't have a reliable internet connection. It's very difficult for them to learn, cultivate skills and get jobs that elevate their living standards. The Endless OS Foundation aims to empower them with an operating system that comes with a huge knowledge database pre-installed. Endless OS comes with a pre-installed suite of applications that cover a wide range of use cases such as productivity, education, entertainment and more. All these applications are designed to work offline. For example, you can search for anything on the encyclopedia here which will give you information without being connected to the internet. Endless OS comes with a familiar smartphone-like user interface to make it more accessible and usable. We get GNOME Desktop Environment 41.3 here. This is heavily customized to give us a smartphone-like UI with large icons on the screen and a dock at the bottom. The app grid is the desktop home screen here and it is optimized for touch. I think for an operating system focused at kids and teens and people who might not be familiar with using a computer, this is a fantastic change. This is more welcoming to a new user than the default GNOME. Now I'm not saying GNOME Desktop should change to this, please no. But yeah, looking at this screen, you're prompted to touch an icon instead of not knowing what to do. It's evident and commendable that Endless OS developers did the research and interacted with its target demographic to identify and solve usability problems. The app grid launcher switches between the app grid and the activities overview. The icons in the app grid can be dragged and dropped to reorganize as well as create baskets. Then we get the standard calendar and status controls here on the top bar. We also have a search bar on the screen which lets you search for apps and information. Along with apps and settings, this also shows results from the onboard encyclopedia, which works without an internet connection. I was really surprised by the scope of what you can search here. I mean you can literally search for anything here and you get in-depth information. The Mayans, Abraham Lincoln, Nikola Tesla, our own Linus Torvalds, Jupiter, Donald Duck, you can find anything you want here. We'll talk about it in a second. Endless OS also comes with a decent selection of desktop background so you can quickly personalize it. I agree, Endless OS looks different from what we are used to. But for a second, imagine a little kid using this system. I feel Endless would be much better and enjoyable to use for them. So in the user interface department, I like what Endless OS offers. It looks decent and it's very easy to get started with. Major points here. Moving on to the highlight of Endless OS 5. It comes loaded with educational content. A large amount of curated material is packed in here to facilitate one thing, that is learning. Starting off, we get an encyclopedia here which has a huge snapshot of Wikipedia. Yes, all the articles in here are sourced from Wikipedia and are stored locally. You can search for those from inside the encyclopedia app or directly from the search. I was very impressed by the volume here. I could find pretty much anything I could think of and since the articles are on your machine locally, they pop up immediately. This one thing can be so valuable for Endless's intended audience. When you don't have access to information long term, you can get stuck intellectually and financially. Endless OS brings information about literally anything at an unimaginably low cost. Endless OS itself is free to use. 
Along with Encyclopedia, we also get an application called HowTo, which is a local implementation of WikiHow. We can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a vast amount of things like painting, drawing, household tasks, things related to business, and so much more. I love this application. It fuels your kids' creativity and gets them going and teaches them to practically do and learn things. You'll be surprised by what you can learn from this application. Moving on, we also have an app that starts you off from the basics and teaches you a wide variety of cooking. Cooking is a life skill. Everybody should have a working understanding of how to cook. This app informs you about the basics, teaches you safety, and before you know it, you'll be doing some Gordon Ramsay stuff. Even better, your kid will be doing some Gordon Ramsay stuff. A wise man once said, teach a man how to cook and he'll cook and eat good food for the rest of his life. Teach a man's kid how to cook and he'll eat good food for the rest of his life. Keep an eye on your kids while they cook though. Then there's WikiArt which contains a catalog of all the major paintings. There's also a nice bit of information added about these paintings. We also get an application for math. Right from the basics to a good explanation and foundation of algebra, trigonometry, differential equations and calculus is covered here. This is a fantastic inclusion as math is very, very important for children and really anybody who wants to grow in the field of math, programming and sciences. I need to go through these ones myself. Then there are detailed guides about biology, science, places as well as myths and legends. There's content here that's going to keep kids and teens occupied and curious for months and I strongly feel that content included here will greatly nourish their minds. Endless OS also comes with apps that kick off your coding journey. We have apps to teach you HTML and CSS here. I had a look at these apps and I found them to be great starting points. The information there is simple, direct and actionable. You'll be able to construct basic static pages once you finish these courses here. Then there's Scratch. In today's digital age, coding is an essential skill that will give you a competitive edge in life. By learning to code, you will be able to shape the world around you and make a positive impact on society. While I don't think everybody should be a software developer, it is a fantastic skill to have nonetheless. The Scratch programming language is designed to be easy and intuitive to use, particularly for beginners including children. You create programs by dragging and dropping colorful blocks of code instead of typing out lines of text-based code. The blocks snap together like puzzle pieces, making it easy to build complex programs. Scratch, drag and drop interface and visual blocks of code make it a great tool for introducing coding concepts. You understand what actually goes on when a program executes. So this is a great step to jump into programming, especially if you are absolutely new to coding and it's great for children as well. Lastly, there's an app called Health here which contains a large amount of information and it's going to bring a lot of value to people who live in areas where there's limited or lack of medical care. Right from basic sanitization, good diet, hygiene, first aid, basic treatments on how to treat various conditions. The last one being very useful, even life-saving in remote areas without medical access. This is great work done by the Endless Foundation and team. They have studied the problems faced by people in these areas. In a fast-moving world, you'll get left behind if you don't have access to knowledge. Endless OS brings a lot of value here. Even for kids, Endless is a much better option compared to just giving them unmonitored full internet access. The web, while a great resource, can be a terrible place for kids. The people behind Endless OS have curated content that really nourishes growing children. So major points to Endless OS. Endless OS is built on the latest Debian stable and this makes it ultra dependable. When it comes to reliable, stable Linux distributions, Debian is the king. Endless builds upon this very core and brings its own goodies to the mix to make Endless OS more secure and robust. Endless OS is also immutable, meaning you cannot make any changes to the core file system. This ensures whatever you do, the operating system itself cannot be broken and you'll always have a system that boots up and works. Endless OS also introduces flat packs here to improve security and usability. The immutability and the use of flat packs ensures that even if non-tech savvy people use this system, if they install any software and do anything here, the system itself will always remain intact. While I generally prefer to use native packages as the first option, I understand and actually feel that flat packs are the better option here. Instead of using root permissions, I think using isolated apps is better. So along with home computers, endless OS can be used in schools, colleges and libraries. Knowing that the target audience of Endless might have limited exposure to computers, I like that Endless developers made choices that improve the reliability of this system. Alright, talking about the performance here, Endless OS performs very good in day-to-day -day scenarios. Most of the pre-installed apps are built using web technologies, so they might feel different but that's not a problem. But I did feel that some apps start up a little bit slower, but that's because they are flat packs. 
but if endless OS is installed on a SSD, it should not be a problem. The idle resource usage is pretty similar to other Linux-based distributions and everything runs good here. Additional software can be installed here using the App Center. App Center lets you install thousands of Flatpak apps. This allows you to install the latest of all the software with enhanced privacy and better than before stability. Packages from Debian repositories tend to be older. With Flatpaks, you'll be getting the latest version of all the software. Flatpaks are flawless in a sense that they'll work without any issues. They are packaged with the dependencies and necessary libraries to ensure an impeccable user experience. And that's exactly what they deliver. Software availability-wise, Endless OS does a very good job bringing in Flatpaks. Okay, moving on to gaming, Endless ships with many educational games out of the box and trust me, they're a lot of fun. You can go ahead and get additional games from the Software Center, it has a ton of fantastic games. Since Endless OS is immutable, I couldn't install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers and that brought down the gaming performance for me. But if you're using either AMD or Intel integrated graphics, you should be just fine as both these GPU drivers are pre-installed. Endless OS is very easy to install and get started with. Head down to their website and download the ISO file. Now Endless offers multiple images. The basic ones don't come with all the pre-installed apps, so make sure to download the 16GB files to get all the goodies. I know it's a large file, but you're getting a lot of content. Moving on to the installation, Endless is fairly simple to install. Flash down to a USB stick, live boot into it, and it'll ask you if you want to install it or try it from USB stick. Now the installation doesn't allow you to custom partition your disk, it'll completely use the disk you select, so be very careful there. On the other hand, if you choose try it from USB, it comes with persistence enabled, so any apps you install or files you keep can be used after you restart and boot into the live session. Overall, getting started with Endless OS is very easy and beginner friendly. Endless OS is a very important Linux distro that's doing some amazing work. Empowering people, that's exactly what open source software is all about. And if you have kids at home, Endless OS makes a lot of sense for them because of the content on it. I remember when I was little, my mom used to buy a lot of books for me. This was before we had internet, so me and my brother used to sit and read encyclopedias all day, learning about different breeds of dogs, animals, dinosaurs, ancient civilizations, science experiments, and it was all so much fun. And it definitely helped us grow educationally. Using Endless OS reminded me of it all so much. It's very important that you surround children with content that will cultivate their knowledge. The web is great, but for children, it can be distracting. And there's just too much on the web. Endless OS is going to keep children busy for months. They learn things, and it's got everything they could need. So Endless OS is not just for people who don't have access to the internet but it's great for kids as well. I really enjoyed using Endless OS 5. I highly recommend it. The download link is given in the description below. Do check it out. Next up, check out the 7 fantastic Linux distributions of 2023. I've included some hidden gems in there so you'll enjoy it. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave a big thumbs up for me. This is Linux Techs, signing out.